What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia finally opens up on what happened with his arrest and the goings on with that. Okay. And <clears throat> the hotel decided to press charges once police arrived. Uh, though the specific nature of the damage in Garcia's behavior wasn't immediately clear after he was booked at the Beverly Hills Police Department, you know, with Axel Foley and company. <laughs> um, department jail police said Garcia complained of a medical issue and was subsequently, uh, subsequently transferred to Cedars Sinai Medical Center for evaluation treatment okay now garcia's attorney added that garcia could also be charged with public intoxication but argued that his client has been open with mental health struggles and that he has been gra grappling with devastating news regarding his mother's health on social media garcia shared his concern at what may happen to him and appeared to confirm the truth of the police report that claimed that he was being treated at the Cedar sinai Medical Center. He said, quote, I'm worried. I have to be at this weird hospital, and they are trying to give me medicine, and they have me on a hold for who, for who knows how long they will determine. Pray for me. God help me. Prayer warriors, please, I need prayers. A lot of prayers. Prayers can move mountains. Lord Jesus, save me. Kind of funny that both Donald Trump and I are in jail. I don't know if he's in jail, but I know that he got convicted. That sucks, but I love Jesus. I will be okay. Huh. All right. Let me counter punch. Um, to, to battle the toxic, like the to public intoxication case, mental health would be something that you would reach for. I mean, from a lawyer standpoint, if I was his lawyer, I would do the same thing. Like, no, he has mental health. You know, something's wrong with him. You know, I think what was important, what's important for Ryan, he needs receipts. I mean, you can't keep doing things like that because he just, to me, He's just coming off like a drunken maniac, you know, like, you know, they had to cut him off from drinking. They had to stop him doing that. He had a helmet on when they like a helmet. Where the hell is the bike at? Where's the bike? You know, so you're sitting there like, OK, dude, you know. <sighs> you're drinking like a fish. You know, I know people handle things different ways. I know that. Um, I know Ryan Garcia, you know, his mom's health and this, that, and the other. But I mean, at some point you have to be held accountable for what you do and the receipts, meaning the proof that you are mentally crazy and, and what you're diagnosed with are mentally crazy. The fact that you do have a mental issue, okay, and your mental health is poor, you know, it's poor because of the, the decisions you're making. Okay, the decisions from drinking and in excess is not helping anyone's mental health. You think someone's that's that has some type of problem upstairs, you think they need to be drinking alcohol or smoking weed or doing whatever? No. They need to they need to be on whatever they're prescribed. That's what they need to be on. I have a brother that suffers from bipolar disorder. He is diagnosed that, so he is prescribed medication. So what I don't get is Ryan is almost like a guy that went to a high rise hotel, tore shit up, damaged a lot of people's property. This hotel's property gets locked up. That's too thick. So, hey, I'm dealing with problems mentally. So they sent his ass to a mental ward. And now he's like, oh, my God, how do I get out of this? Lord, help me. But it's like, well, wait a minute. You're wait. They're giving you medicine based on what? You claim that you're mentally ill. So whatever you say that you are, that's what they're trying to give you medicine for. Especially if you deem to be mentally unstable. You know what I mean? So why did you get yourself in that situation in the first place? You know what I mean? Like that like those type of things you have to really think about. 
when you're when you're dealing with people, it's almost like, no, nah, I don't want to be here, so I'm here. Like, oh, this sucks too. You know what I mean? And hell, if it's your mom that's having issues, the last thing you want to be is out somewhere drunk, tearing up somebody's shit in a rich part of Beverly Hills. You should be with your mother. I wish I could be with my mom if she was sick, when she was sick. You know what I mean? So like those type of things, people really need to take advantage of and stop using as a scapegoat because it looks like that's what Ryan Garcia is doing. That's what it looks like. You know what I mean? Because now he's in that situation and now he's trying to compare himself to other people like you're in that situation because you chose to be. Nobody told you to tear people's shit up and wear a helmet. That is kind of wacky though. You know, to be fair, it is. You know, so maybe Ryan is exactly where he needs to be. Especially based on what he claims he has. But you guys tell me what you think of Ryan Garcia breaking silence on his arrest and speaking of his arrest, how in the hell is he tweeting in a mental ward? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Ryan Garcia breaking silence on his arrest. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace!